Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sip? My man roller, he bring a zip. Girls, all my niggas call you guys, fall in line, they ain't got no plans, you can tell them to slide. I'm feast the beast, they told you otherwise, them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me, I'm seasoned like checker fries, what's the vibe? You know what it is when we come inside, this weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. Let's get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be sorry you ain't here. Light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. You got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one, they say they like it, play it back, it got a mic, but I'm excited, never tired. Just I'm Unprivileged Drinkers, baby. Yo, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged Drinkers, taste testers for the hood. But suburban safe. Yes, Sirski. Yes, Sirski. The gang is back. We are here. We're ready to turn this shit up. Um, time to have a little bit of fun. I know niggas is wearing down. It's getting late. But we got to do this for the people. We ain't been together as far as doing an episode in like, what, two, three weeks now? Okay. I was I, I didn't even pause in that I just kind of like The whole statement Just flew out Like It was a, a Concurrent Statement I didn't pause and, and leave it For people to wonder But Anyway um, Yeah we Like I said We back with another one um, Like I said We got some drink reviews coming Stay tuned Make sure y'all following uh, We're gonna have a good time As usual But You know Like I said We got the gang here um, You got me Uncle Reese The regular guy I don't do much, you know. What I mean, I'm just a man behind the board, as they call me. But you know, across from me, we got the gang. You got the dirtiest motherfucker alive. Your guy, dirty, here to drink with the guys. Plain and simple. To my left. Uh, well, yeah, me, Dink, aka Pooty, Pooty, aka Dink. However the fuck you want to call me, whatever you think of me as, and it is what it is. We're drinking. And that's the. The good thing about you know us getting together, I love when we're all here and we get to do this shit. I'm drinking around, fucking drinking. And then him next to me. To your left. Him next to me. Him is the people's voted upon favorite drinker, Captain. That's who him is. Thank you very much. Well, next. That's your unprivileged drinker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, we're going to get into a few things today. Um, we, we had, uh, um, what did we, well, actually it was early in the week. I feel I could pull it up because I don't have my phone with me. Um, I don't know, can y'all see it? Did I see y'all a screenshot of it? Of what? Uh, the, the the poll that we put up um, early this week about letting, no, letting a masseuse, what? letting a female, <laughs> we're, on the, we're on the eve of um, Father's Day. So uh, earlier this week, we put up a poll in regards to would would the females allow their male companion get one of these massages? Now, we did do this before for the uh, men to allow their women to have these type of sensual massages. But this time we did it in reverse again because we're on the eve of Father's Day. Um I know it was an overwhelming, uh, astounding no, like for a majority of the women um, that are in relationships or may have been in relationships. There were probably about, uh, I'm going to say a three. good three. Yes. It was just three yeses. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there was only about three yeses out of, uh, I want to say, what, like maybe 15, 16, may have, 17 people may have voted or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Dirt can double check that. Fact check. I mean, if these are all the no's. It's about sixteen votes. Sixteen. Okay, yeah, I knew no's, three yeses. Right, I knew it was somewhere around there, but um, was no maybe on. It was a one maybe, but it was a dude, so I don't, oh. I don't, I don't know. Somebody named Andrew. Who that fella is. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. His name was Andrew, but um, just shit, I don't know. <laughs> That's just so guilty. That's one of his fans. <laughs> it's just, I don't know him. But, uh, yeah. So, again, the, the, what we were just, the point was just to see who would allow. Now, I did get like some, um, some direct messages from people who gave a little bit more detail as to why they said yes or no. Um, I know one of the people said they would allow it, but only if they were sitting there in the room. They wouldn't allow it. 
like him go by himself and and experience that type of massage. And I know somebody else was saying um, they thought it was just inappropriate. Like she putting her pussy on his dick, and she was like, "It's just not going to happen." And I was like, "I mean, I understand because she had like a thong on the, the video yeah. that we had. It was like a thong. Yeah. She's not ignoring any muscles. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, um, you know, it, it, you, know, you can look at it both ways. Some people say it was inappropriate. Some people say it's cool. You know, they trust a man, but you know, it, it all just depends on the situation. Are those people that said? It's cool they trust a man. Are they single? I, that I don't know. I never got into my personal <laughs> business. Like some of the people I know that that said no, I know are in a relationship or that that's married because I know them personally. But some of the people I don't know personally. I only know through um, Instagram, so I don't know what their like relationship status is. But um, do you got the numbers of, of what it was like the percentages? The, the show it doesn't that? say percentage, just like the numbers, like it so. Does. Thir- 16 total votes. Okay. Three no. No. 13 no. Right. And three yeses. Right. I feel like the three yeses are all for threesomes. Huh. <laughs> I, I don't see. You hear that, ladies? I didn't I, say I, it. I don't. That's I don't, dirt that said that. I don't see how you're not at this point. And then even the one that said, like, I have to be in the room with him. Like, you're all for a threesome, too. She fuck around. Be, Bust that be honest with you. And, then, and then on top of that, I feel like the one that says they want to be in the room, he's going to cheat regardless. Even if it's not that day, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to have sex with her. And he's going to find a way. <laughs> just, just he's so damn a turkey. She had a turkey. She had a turkey. She looked like, at first glance, Amber Rose. Amber Rose is like a little thinner. This one was a little... She had, she was like I'm saying first well well because she had the baldy yeah she was kind of dark for that right um but yeah that that was the, uh, it was an interesting thing because like I said like a lot of people like viewed it a lot of people didn't uh, vote on it at all I think it was a lot of people who didn't vote it were I know are in relationships some aren't but what I what I gather from when we do these polls and put these polls up a lot of people I feel like. Are like afraid to vote I don't know why Because I remember one time I put up something Like a while ago And I put the poll up And people was looking at it But just not voting So now I put up a post after That was like This is okay to vote I'm not going to snitch on you And then everybody went back And voted So it was like <laughs> It was funny Because like I don't know what they think Like this data is doing Like I'm not about to go tell everybody Oh yeah they, Your they wife gonna, said this <laughs> They going to judge me Or you going to show the answers Or some shit like that Right I'm not going to put the people Who voted which way or what We like, like, know you're a freak I mean, listen, whatever you do, whatever you that's do in your, your bedroom is your business. That's your life been though. had, yeah. I don't, I don't believe. Will be had or currently being had. Okay, your secret's safe with unprivileged. Right, right, right. I mean, we unprivileged drinkers. We don't, we don't be out here just you know ratting on people. But you know, before we jump into anything else any further, we got to do what we didn't do. Shot o'clock time. So at this point, what are we shotting? I don't know what this is. It's your bottle. You, you right, right. You tell me. You tell us. Happy Juneteenth. It's a lot familiar, I believe. Um, me, me familia Flores. Uh, it's a repo tequila. It's a tequila reposado Cristalino. Oh, okay. Hundred percent agave. If you don't have that in there, it ain't real tequila. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see the bottle, but the top actually has like an extra shot or two in it. It just stored in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a there's another. Yeah, court. I have unwrapped the plastic. There's no, there's another. No, I already opened it. Oh, you did? Yeah, there's there's <laughs> another there's another cork in the top in the top of the, the top of the bottle. Baby. There's two shots in there. No, I put the cork. Because who who was it? Uh, 1800 used to have it, but that shit is always a, a mess. Though it never worked the way you wanted it to. Did it? Did it have like some type of like rubber plastic? Sealed in there. No, no. You had to break off, so that one does. So it's wrapped no, in plastic. Yeah, 1800 didn't have it. It was so more so just so you can get a shot. Like, right. it was a perfect shot. Type so that thing. one is actually sealed with a cap on it. Right. With the regular plastic around it. So, yeah. I mean, it's. What, so there's plastic, like. So, I don't know. So you, you took the plastic off then? So I took the plastic off of this part. So I don't know what you did. There was no plastic on there when I opened it. Yeah, see, you broke. All right, yeah, so see. Talking about this part. The rubber, plastic. Oh, it's another like in cork. Yeah, there's yeah. a yeah. cork in there. Yeah, yeah. You can take. Yeah. Oh, so you actually get like an extra like two shots. Two shots looks like yep. Okay. Oh shit. You know, a bottle holds around 16, 18 shots. So right. you're looking at twenty with that. That's cool. 
Huh, well, um, let's go. Shot o'clock. This is the time that we, you know. You never had this? I don't think I have. I don't oh. know. It doesn't look familiar. It's a great joint. All right, well, very, very good. It's Cristalino. I mean, I, I, I thought it was like a Blanco or something Rebel. like that, but, it, but it's a, you know, that's cool. Yeah, all right. Let's take a shot. Drink up. That is very fruity. That shit too sweet for me. Ooh. Taste that vanilla. I do. I don't like that. Vanilla's in there. Ooh. Damn. That motherfucker is fruity. Ah. Yeah. Rudy tooty, fresh and fruity. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest fan of it, but it's not no. nasty. It's just. No, that ain't for me. I'll, I'll tell you off back. Mm. I, don't I don't like, like that. It. I'm surprised. I, I, don't, I don't like it. It's too I'm sweet. Surprised. It's way too much vanilla. I'm not like a huge vanilla fan, I guess. Well, vanilla flavoring. Like maybe if it's ice cream or something like that, but outside of that, I can do without it. So how? Uh, um, I'm sure it's not vanilla flavoring though. It's just probably you know, vanilla. Whatever it is, not good. Since we're talking about the bottle, do you remember? I bought the tequila with the honey in it. I do. Do you remember? Would you rather have that or this? One hundred percent. I'd rather have that. Mm. The, one with the honey. The one with the honey. Okay. How about you? I don't know if I had that. I brought it around. I don't remember having it, but this is definitely not like on the top of my list. If I was going to rate it, I would give it probably like a five. Uh, that's exactly where I was going. Five. You do not have to try this. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. It I'm just did something to my stomach. Like I like this. It sat in my stomach a weird way. I don't know. It's something about it that didn't know. sit right. That's just, I think that's the second shot I've had that tonight. Or is it? Of this? Or did you just pull this bottle out? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's well, it's been drunken. No, I'm talking about like tonight though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. We had I'm the surprised. I know I, we had the other thing earlier. Had the, you had, had the, the blue bottle. Change, yeah. Right. I really thought y'all would like this. Nah, it ain't for me, Chief. <laughs> what do, oh, did you did you think they would like this? Yeah, I thought they would like it. Fourteen G's, Chief. Yeah, I so. <laughs> yeah I, listen, I like it. I mean, listen, I, but it's all about your palate and cooking, stuff like that. Like, we've been cooking this box. What day was that? I came over here. Did that review? The Monday? No, we had to do it Tuesday. What's today? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about y'all, when y'all did that, that sipping wine thing? Yeah. No, we did it. It Wednesday was another then. day before, though. It was Wednesday, then. I was here another day when we was drinking this. We had, like... Yeah, we had, well... Whatever but, day it was. But... But yeah, we was we had probably about cooking four or five shots of this joint. Cooking it. And the first one, y'all enjoyed the first one, because you know sometimes the first one you be like ah. Well, it's it's soda to total wines and uh, whatever time we came down there with Nige, probably like one of the first times they had like it's like quite a few of them. They got a regular Cristalino, they got a Repo Blanco, they got a mm. less silver, they got a all. Um. My they got a crazy my, ass lineup. Yeah, they got a lineup of these tequilas, yo. Was it when y'all? Was it when when we went to see Lil Reese going prom? That when you bought that? I think what was the first time Nas actually went to your house. First time Nas came to my house. Oh shit! He came a few times. Remember, we did the episode. That's probably the first time he came when he bought that big oh, no, bottle. That was wasn't it. Then it was after that. Whatever Nas' second time was. I feel like after that was when he brought the kids. So I think it was that time. Then. It was that. It was that time. It was that time. I think y'all came from the the the, the water park. You know? No, they went to uh one of those uh they went to freaking oh, main event, main, main event. event, right? Yeah, I right near the mall, right? And then they came down yeah. after that. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I like it. Um, I like. I I would. I never read it before. Um, I give it a seven and a half. That's cool. Yeah. Everybody got different palettes. I mean, that's why I said I'm not knocking nobody that would want to try it or you know whatever. But it's just not. For no. me. It's not. It's definitely not for me. I'm knocking you if you want to try it. Do not. Do not drink this. Damn. We got two nodes. Two that's guesses. Strong. It's not good. So it's not hey, good. listen. It's sold at Total Wines. Price. You know. It's, it's tell us. Tell us how y'all feel about it. All right. What's your price point? The bottle is beautiful. I will say. The bottle is gorgeous. Can you tell you the price. Yeah. What's the price? I think it was sixty five. Oh, okay, it's a nice looking bottle. Price is good. This is around the corner too. This is at, they got uh, that around the corner. This is around the corner. That's really, when they start that particular the one? In there. This I don't. Well, I don't know if this particular one is around the corner, but I've seen the and bottle watch. around the corner. What's the name of it? Me La Familia. 
Me familiar yeah, Flores. Oh, you know what? I think uh, me familiar Flores. I think Drees tried this before with somebody mm. on get on on the YouTube channel. I think I think I, th- that might that sounds familiar. So I think he tried it with somebody. I'll oh, ask the, him. It's aesthetically pleasing the bottle. Um, it is more on the sweet side. It's actually a lot on the sweet side. Yeah. Um, I would say you taste the vanilla. Yeah, the finish is like the, the, the heat. It's, it's no real, yeah. It's no real heat to it like that. But to me, it's a subtle heat all the way through. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Not, but I think because I think that vanilla just cools it, mm-hmm. and it. But it, to me, it's too much. Like you know what I mean? Like okay, it's like you taste it. It's like all right, cool. But then like the more, it's like it it heightens on the way down. So it's like it's too much for me. So I I, I like it, but not enough to like. Continuously buy. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to say that it's bad because I feel like you probably should try it because maybe this is for somebody who who likes that taste, that flavor profile of that vanilla that's that's that really points like that sticks out. Just not not me. Not that's you not. Taste fruit? It did taste fruity too, but then that vanilla just kind of like. You taste fruit? No. Now that I've gotten more information, I'm dropping my number to a four. I don't like that it costs sixty dollars. Okay, I'm not paying sixty dollars. Maybe the, the, maybe that's probably due to the packaging, like the, the the bottle itself. The bottle looks gorgeous. You get an extra shot I, on top. I'd rather it come and in you like, get an extra two shots. Two shots. Two shots. Uh, that it's not worth it. I mean, damn, uh, he's shitting on his mother. Yeah, I, this isn't good to me at all. Well, like at all. I just, so I, that, I, the art is point. sweet too, though, but it's not sweet. As it's that. not. No, that's nowhere near as that's sweet. That's a um, añejo. The Añejo has a more that guy has like a cognac feeling to it more so, whereas though this is just like just sweet. Yeah, I think that's an Añejo because it got to be it's darker. It ain't it ain't a repo. I know it can't be because this that would be, that's more of like a yeah 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 that can't be a uh, what you call him. So either way, um, that's cool. Um, drinking, drinking, drinking. I know. Um, so, graduation season is upon us. Um, on the on the cusp of you know bringing up the twenty year anniversary of um, Winston and Aisha, myself and Cap over here, we actually graduated twenty years ago. Damn, it's been twenty years. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Damn. So we actually graduated twenty years ago, and actually we 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 both had our proms at the same place that they actually got married to, which is no longer a thing. Did they have the internet when y'all went on? When like when y'all graduated? That's sick. That's wow, yo. We didn't graduate in the nineties, nigga. It was twenty years shit. from now, and that building no longer exists. He but, just said we old as shit. When, <laughs> you would have graduated with 06? No, I graduated in 08. All right, nigga, that's still like that's five years off. You literally are five years away from your year. Like, all right, still five years that are I we, are, are we living the same era? Like today? Like era, just period. Like, I mean, era. Nori's living in the same era as. No, it's not an era. Like you, you remember a lot of stuff. I remember you. You remember like Jordan and shit and cowboys and. What Jordan? What what Jordan do you remember? All of them. No, no. Like what Jordan do you specifically remember? The nineties. I remember the Wizards more than anything. I'm not lying. I remember the 98 finals. Wait, wait, were you 32? Two. I remember the 98 finals. Like, vividly remember the 98 finals. But after that, like, I had Washington Jordan. Well, yeah, he retired after that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I miss, I miss How old Jordan were you in best 98? part. Eight or so in the final, seven. Okay. So, yeah, about to be eight. About to be eight, yeah. Right, right, right. Because you talking yeah, about like in August, yeah, I turned eight. Right. So I vividly, I vividly remember the finals. But the Jordan I remember the most is the Wizards Jordan. You remember Mike with the Bulls? You're old. Well, you know what? The most right, not NBC on, not NBA on NBC. That's not what you were doing. That's not what you were doing. He got to it after the like it. It didn't. The initial portion of it didn't sound like it. No, because I had to replay it in my head. Yeah, yeah. The initial portion definitely wasn't that, but he got to it over time. He plays. But what you call him? 
I think the Bob Costas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I was trying to think of his name. Super Sonics playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, Latrell, Freewell, and the Knicks. Yeah, okay. Well, but so that was uh, after he choked PJ Carlissima. Yes, I think. It was. Yeah. Since like we were yeah, growing yeah, yeah. up in the same time, we we we, we oh, in the same God. era of I mean, but life. We're thirty seven. You're about to be thirty three, so we're still about but that's four years apart essentially. Because you'll be turning thirty three before we turn yep. thirty eight. Yep, yep, yep. So it's like four years apart. So it's really not that big of a difference, but it's a difference. I'm still old. You played Sega. Did you? Did you? Did you? Yeah. Um, like your dad or mom, was they heavily in the sports? Heavily in the sports? No, I, I, neither one. No, you know what? You know what? My mom's a huge football fan. Okay, my dad watches sports, but he like dabbles for real, for real. I, but it's I, not I, his I thing. Question. Yeah. Actually, question. Yeah, actually, question. So since it's Father's Day, what male, whether in your family or out of your family, that you are most close to, influence you to be? As big of a sports fan as you are today, mine's really easy. I don't, I don't, it's, it's, it's not a person in my family. It's not a person. In it, it's not a person I've ever met before. Oh, oh, so you're the reason why you watch sports? No, 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 no. It's not me. Like it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an athlete. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, say it. You, can go, you might you talking? You might say it. Iverson. Like he he was okay, he, 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 he was he was the though. pinnacle for me. Like. He was the reason I watched it. Then when I found out he played football, I was like, "Oh, Bubba you Chuck. nigga, you did both." Oh man, it was, it, it was, you, uh, it was up from there. Cause you, you were, you well, you said you remember, uh, I re- yeah, I re- Jordan Wizard years, and that's around that time frame. Mm-hmm. But if you from Philly, obviously, if anybody that's from Philly that watched basketball, Iverson had to be the guy. Yeah, AI, AI is goaded, right? Right? Yeah, is goaded. But I, I will say, my mom watched. We watched football every Sunday, like. You watch Eagles. Eagles? Game. You watch Eagles game every Sunday. She an Eagles fan though. She, she is okay. an Eagles fan. Yep. Okay. But every Sunday we watch football, but Iverson was the guy for me. So. So you're you accredit your sports like even like even other sports like even other sports Iverson. Damn, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's deep, but I, I respect it though. I respect it. Can't answer your question. <laughs> I gotta go last. Last question. <laughs> okay. You don't have to, right? <laughs> This is good banter. I'm just saying because since it's Father's Day. Right, yeah. I mean, anybody know, can most, go. I'll go if you want me to go. It don't matter. No, I can me. go. I'm just saying you didn't have you don't have I mean, to I can this. break it down to sports too. Um There's multiple people. Of course it was my dad. Then I was like, y'all. Like with well, basketball I was like Oh son, I'm glad I put you on, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. We'll see, son. All right, go ahead. You can talk now, son. Thank you. You ain't say happy Father's Day yet, but go ahead. It ain't Father's Day. Jackass. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. So yeah, like with basketball, of course it was, you know, my father. Then with football it was like y'all, uh, like Winston and um, uh, yeah, like that, that was it's it was, it was multiple people for me. Like I didn't have like like when it came to basketball, I knew like I knew I could have the conversation with like y'all and like anybody else, like like some of my peers, but. I don't know. It was like kind of different having a conversation with with my dad about it because he's just, just a good old historian. Yeah, <laughs> right. Man, like he had my a dad. He had man. A M- I think he still has it. The NBA encyclopedia. Like, right, so right. I gifted that to him for Christmas. I think it was Mucci. Or- I don't know who. I don't know who. Well, it was. I think one of your sisters gave him that for his birthday at Christmas. I remember when he. I remember when somebody gave it was a female. That's for sure. Like the NBA for him was like. Crazy, yeah. He wrote, he had the car, he'd be like 2002. I'm talking, <laughs> hey, I gave hey, you, I gave hey, you, hey, I gave hey. you the time to talk. Hey, that's power. He shut the <laughs> fuck up, too. <laughs> I'm talking about some backslap. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, like, I gave you, the, <laughs> I, I gave you the opportunity uh-huh. to talk, <laughs> but um. Yeah, he recorded All Star Games, Finals. Yes, he did. Shit like that. So it was different having a conversation with with my dad about the NBA. And then with football, like I said, shit, it still is. I'm still talking. (laughs) Um, With with the NFL, it was it was different with like talking about it with y'all and like Winston and everybody else. So the passion behind it was like something that I I I I wanted to be a part of. So yeah, that's it. Um. Well, you said you want to go last because you asked the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, might as well. All right. 
I mean, it's fine. I don't care. Um, so for me, obviously, it was my dad as well. As far as basketball goes, my dad wasn't like a um, um, like he he watched football, watched baseball, and somewhat dabbled in hockey only because one of my uncles was a hockey fan. He he stopped liking um, basketball because how much money they got paid. Um, like shout out, to, uh, rest in peace, my uncle Melvin. But he started to watch hockey, so my dad would keep up with those kind of sports. But his main sport was always and has always been basketball. Um, I think it was like he got introduced to like uh, basketball back in high school. I think he went to Benjamin Franklin, mm-hmm. and he got put on Wilt Chamberlain at a like a, at an age where. It was like fascinating. This dude is seven foot whatever, like we seven foot two or something like that, mm-hmm. from West Philly, and I think his history teacher somebody put him on, and it was just like holy shit, I'm missing out. And basketball just was his thing, you know what I'm saying? So even me, my name is like, Maurice Cheeks is one of his favorite players of all time. I'm named after Maurice Cheeks, so I've been to basketball games as a kid. We used to catch the motherfucking trolley downtown. All of, like you know, what I mean, I've done all of those things where I've seen Manu Bowl play, I've seen Charles Barkley play. So basketball was something that my dad put all of us on. My whole, my all of my like all of us watched basketball probably solely to my dad. Football was a me thing. I became enamored with the passion that came from football because obviously, I, I grew up in an era in the '90s where Jordan reigned supreme. So that competition level and the way he played and approached the game is something that I always respected. And that's why I liked Kobe until he started disrespecting AI. You know what I mean? Like I was cool until he was like, I, I, I'm, I'm like, you, we knew he grew up in lower Marion, but up until that point, he was claiming Philly as his own. And then at that point he called himself an LA boy and he wasn't going to give tickets to his own family during the finals. It was like, that was what, 2001? Like, yeah. bro, what? like, bro, you from this era. You This kind of like molded you into who you are. But that kind of like shifted. So either way, um, football became something to mind over the time, over over the years, because I feel like football just separates itself in the, in the form of passion. Mm. And you got more passionate football players like a Ray Lewis, um, Brian Dawkins, I can't, I would not, I would, yeah, I can't dismiss that. Um, it, it's so many of them, but those, like, as far as like coming from the '90s into the 2000s area era, is when you saw some of them dudes that was like, God damn, like you know what I mean? Like they, just, when they went out on the field, they became a different person. That's not the same motherfucker that was like that you just was sitting there watching, like doing interviews. Like they, when they get on the field, in between them, the lines is different, and that's what I fell in love with. I fell in love with passion. For wanting to win, that's my like shift into football because my dad, like I said, he wasn't like a big football fan like that. And back in the nineties, the Eagles wasn't shit. So, oh man, Rich Kotite, right? You know what I mean? Hey Rhodes, I'm going forever, baby. Bobby Hoying, right? You Bobby had the Brister, the Randall years, Ty, but and to- Ty Detmer, the rest of the fucking has been. <laughs> but you like had a, the, sound like an Eagles fan to me. <laughs> I live. But you had those yeah. Randall years where they did have some exciting years. But, Defense but, reigned supreme with that era, right? But again, it was just more so one of those things where niggas had somebody called Yancey Thigpen. Wait, did you say Yancey Thigpen back then? Like, no, I, I thought you, Titans, Titans, right? No, he was with the uh, Steelers. He might play with the Titans too. Uh, yeah, damn, I, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. It's but like either way, Todd Stinkston. Yeah, I, I accredit um, myself <laughs> into <laughs> watching football like <laughs> Emmitt Smith and Barry Sanders and shit like that, um, like in those early nineties oh. and stuff like that. Because they, oh yeah, Jamal Anderson, J A. Yeah, like, it's it's a lot. Because I, I like running backs, so I've always liked running backs, and it was like those guys that was that was Thurman Thomas. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a lot of them. Like back in the day, that Mr. Was, Dillon, the the running backs were. The guys who carried the teams back in the day, you know what I'm saying. So that was like something that they were the big men when, of uh, football, right? Like it's almost like the centers of the '80s and the early '90s. You know what I'm saying? Like the the running backs were those guys, so they were the headliners essentially. On the um, as time goes on, because one of the last running backs of the '90s that I really, 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 really liked, and that I remember getting the sporting news. I, I ordered my own sporting news, and I used to get um, um, stats for Edgen James. Like I was a big Edgen James fan. I loved Edgen James. I believe he has a son 
playing in college and shit. I think he does, yeah. yeah. And after he tore his knee, Actually, I think Emmitt Smith too. Now you mention it. Second year, yeah. Emmitt Smith played for Stanford, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but he, he when he after he tore his knee, he wasn't the same. But Edge, Edge was supposed to be one of those dudes, man. Like he was different. Um, but yeah, that football, like I said, for me, I can go on and on about this shit. Like I know I'm probably rambling now, but uh, that football is my favorite sport. That's the one sport that I look forward to every year, mm. no matter what. I watch every game that I can, mm. especially on my own team. So, yeah, that's me. Football. Cat. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna break mine up a little bit. Uh, so my, my dad, of course, basketball and football. Um, I don't know if he still holds a record for a running back a 99 yard kickoff return in the University of Pennsylvania. I'm privileged drinker. Uh, I'm not baby. sure, but he did have a record back in the day. Um, he played basketball and football for Central High School back when it was an all boys high school. Um, my dad, <laughs> I was in a lot of places I wasn't supposed to be at a young age, uh, watching all types of sporting events. Chip Wade cable boxes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chip uh, Wade cable boxes. I was at all types of Mason shrine functions at a young age and spots where I wasn't supposed to be. So, but all in all, uh, my love for basketball and, and football, football reigns supreme um, more so. Um, I didn't really, I played basketball in middle school. Um <laughs> A fit like academics plus <laughs> over there on Seymour and Knox. I, I played basketball. I used to love playing in the CBA and back in the crib, the Crowell Basketball oh, Association shit. back there. Uh, a lot of fights went on back there. A lot, a lot of good times. God, man. A lot of Yo. good times, too. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm glad. Listen, I'm glad I can still be here to remember them times. But yeah, uh, he actually, he actually refed. A game at the uh, shit, what was that? The Spectrum back in the day. Um, it was like a we used to have these tournaments at the end of the year where middle schools, Henry or Houston might have been my mm-hmm. school. It was a couple other schools we used to play against, like Uptown a little bit. Mm-hmm. But um, he, he was a ref in one game. Um, from what I was told, my cousin's Leroy Butler. I don't know, bruh, but I never <laughs> met your day in my life. Hot <laughs> last name is Butler, but that's what I was always told. Um, so my, my, my passion for sports, my passion for sports, probably because I have a lot of my dad's attitude in me come, comes from him. My aggressiveness probably comes from me, like probably comes from him too. So that's probably why I went the football route instead of like basketball. Cause I'm more like on rough edges like I'm I'm into like really getting down and dirty instead of like the f- finesse kind of guy like I'm I'm more rugged so that's why I kind of like gravitated to like football more um basketball I love basketball but football is like you I can't really do shit about it if you cross and fuck over you break my ankles football I can I can knock your fucking wig in the fucking dirt you know what I mean look I see the next play my guy you know what I mean you used to could do that yeah, fuck, yeah. not now yeah, not now this is a passing not lead now man um yes, sir and, and I, I I'll see one of the one of the, one of the greatest linebackers that I ever played in the pub. I mean, my man Latif Ferguson. I mean, Dobbins Rand, Randolph. Shout out to all my Mustangs. Twenty year motherfucking high school reunion tomorrow. Appreciate and love all y'all. Man. Today, wait to see y'all. <laughs> well, today, yeah. Um, yeah, we 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 gonna turn it up, man, for about six hours and, and then some. Cause there's an after party. But um, back to you know where my love of sports came from. Um. My my father personally knows Bernard Hopkins. They used to call him Heads back in the day at Uptown. Um, he told me he kind of taught Bernard how to box some kind of way, but I don't know that. I mean, I have seen pictures with my dad and, and B Hop at the Dell, Miss Tyne. Shout out to my stepmom. But like, he knows him personally. Now, as far as teaching him how to like throw his hands, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what my pop says, so I tend to believe him. Um, Boxing. Uh, my love from bo- for boxing is is more so my brother. Um, even though my dad was a big fan of boxing, because my, my my brother fought in the Golden Gloves. He used to box at Joe Frazier's over there at Broad and Glenwood. That's where he started out at. Um, my I'm just going back ways. 
my my grandfather and Joe Frazier were like real good buddies. They used to cut meats, I believe, at Esposito's down like 9th Street. Um, so they, my grandfather knew Joe <laughs> Frazier like personally. Um, Stick lift his head up for that. Yeah. So my love for boxing come, comes. I remember walking from here to Broad and Glenwood and like shadow boxing. My, my brothers first started out. I think he was maybe like 15, 16 at, at Joe Frazier gym. Um, he fought in the Golden Gloves. Uh, his favorite fighter, Sugar Ray Leonard. I can't. I can. I can't tell you how many times I have watched Hearns Leonard or fucking Leonard Hagler. Hey, that's the on one on a right VHS there. tape, and he borrowed him from guess who? Your father. Right. And I guarantee that damn VHS tape is still there. He would, yo, Mister Went, Mister Went. He would borrow it for like three weeks, give it back, give it like a week break, and then borrow it again because <laughs> your pop recorded everything. Everything. Yeah, he everything. Did. everything. So all all the fights, man, we lay in the living room, man. That's how I like my love for boxing came from my brother, man. And he's sitting up here, he whooping my ass. You know what I mean? Teach, teaching me how to fight, tossing me all around, hitting the shit out of me. I'm crying, calling my mom, like, nigga, like, I'm not the punching bag. Me and go to the fucking Joe Frazier, man. He did actually he did used to box at champs too. It's no longer there at yeah. uh, 26 in Huntington. Yep. A bunch of car shops over there now. But yeah, that's where my love for bo- for boxing comes from. Um I don't, like hockey. That that I just that probably came from some like freaking. Uh, what was the hockey game in the nineties from uh, the, the Blades of Blades Steel. Still? Yeah, Tendo. like yeah, like yeah, Blades of Steel. Uh, I'll watch tennis because of Serena Williams and uh, Andre Ag. Well, Andre Agassi mainly because well, we have the same first name. But I ain't never really like follow follow <laughs> golf. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Like, I don't really follow them sports. Like like that like that, but I do kind of pay attention uh, sometimes. Like, like like it's a bunch of other sports, man. Like, yeah. You know, track Andre Johnson, man. Them guys. I mean, who was it? Andre yeah. Don- Johnson from the beginning. Michael Johnson. Yeah. Oh, Andre Johnson for, for the Texans. What was the other ball he used to run against? Michael Johnson. This is a ball hit a ball, man. Um, he used to always go at it with. But anyway, him. Yeah. Yeah. So my love uh, for just sports in general came from a lot of different like. Avenues of avenues of people, but mainly the the four major sports: baseball. Shout out to my uncle Danny, man. May you, my great uncle Danny, may you continue to rest in peace. He took probably took me to more like Phillies games. My dad took me to a lot, but I think my uncle Danny uh, took me to more. He's the one that drive the Jimmy. The- yeah, <laughs> yep. He used to drive the Jimmy. God, I used to sit in damn. one of my little cousins' baby car seats because he had me and my, my other cousins and my little cousins. I was sitting in a fucking actual car seat. You know what I mean? Probably at like the age of fucking like eight, riding on down there to the to the, uh, the vet crazy, to the yeah. vet. So for I've been to the vet many a times, but mm. for my first time going to the vet was when Leroy gave us tickets last minute. I think it was coming from Hair Connection. He oh, gave yeah, us tickets last the minute. We, Dem- uh, yeah, we went to go Bengals. down there. The Bengals playing the Eagles. We got to like the end of the third quarter. Yeah, and we wound up seeing he had a nice ass fucking like mink coat on. Corey yeah. Dillon and a couple other guys, but yeah, I always went to the vet to see. Phillies games. Right, right. I, I went to wrestling matches a lot of times because even though it's fake with my dad, like, you know what I mean? He, he had me all over the place. That's why I said I had to, I had to shout out, like, uh, so mainly basketball, football, my, my father, may you continue to rest in peace, power, and all that good stuff, Pop. We miss you. Um, boxing, mainly my brother, a little bit of my Pop. Baseball, I had to get to my great uncle Danny. Hockey, I just found that on my own. And like the rest of the sports, I just gravitated on my own. And well, I played football in high school, so, so that's that's my that's my love. Right. Everything else comes secondary. You know what? It was funny about that. I was just riding down, um, like, what's that? Sixteenth Street. I was riding down Sixteenth Street, like all the way from like downtown, and I was just riding through. And I'm like, damn! Remember when we used to go to Temple Camp and shit? And we had. Oh, that's um, when I came. came oh, that's when I discovered my great stroke. When we was in the Temple Youth Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, oh, never, we, we was in golf, right? Uh, yeah, fails, yo. we um. <laughs> oh, remember I used to play volleyball. You want to go play Cheney? Yeah, yeah, volleyball. we played volleyball too. But the, I, I was just thinking, I'm like, damn, that that was a great fucking program. Like, I'm, I wish that it was something that they could have around for some of these kids. Because like, remember we we saw Eddie Jones one time yeah, down yeah. there. We saw Aaron McKee. Yeah. Like, we used to see like. I, what was the boy? He used to sit on the step a lot. Uh, Aaron Owens today. That was hilarious. You saw yeah. Yeah, we um, 
Remember we was we had to walk to my sister's house. They used to live on 15th and Diamond. And Pepe Sanchez was just sitting right on the motherfucking steps oh, yeah, and shit. Pepe. Yeah. It was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, yo, what's up? number was four, wasn't it? Was it number four? Hey, Pepe was four. Well, he was four with the sixes. It was definitely a single digit. Yeah, yeah, I forget. I remember, but he was like so tall. He's like he was sitting there on the steps, like long ass late. He was like, yo, what's up, Pepe? He was like, yo, what's going on? And then we just walked off. But it's it's funny because those experiences, I think it it, it, it molds you because you you see these people and they're like larger than life, especially Eddie Jones. I think when we saw Eddie Jones, I think we always like. Super fucking amazed yeah. though. It was like he played for the Lakers. Right. Like, oh yeah. shit, this is fucking Man. Eddie Jones. Like that was that was a thing. Um, some some of our um, youth counselors actually played. I oh, know yeah. one of the boys I had played played football for Timble. Yeah. Because um, going, dog, oh, oh, oh. I never get this, man. We go. We went to the locker room. The Timble. Oh, here you go, boy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You, I don't know why Timble you tell football this story. team's locker room. Right. Is, we going to get a football. I already know what he about to say. Man, we walking there, man. I'm going in there. And I'm like, it ain't nothing but a bunch of grown ass men with fucking nothing on. Man. I'm a kid, man. I'm walking through the shit. What the fuck's going on here, man? So I did it about face. I was like, man, you go ahead and get the football high five all your teammates, man. I'm about facing. I went back outside, man. I, I stood there and waited for him. But that type of shit. Pause. I kind of got used to when you go swim. You don't look them, <laughs> them, them Asian. Yo, you remember how we used to go swim them Asian balls? And we was in the locker room, and the older dudes, I guess they had some type of discount there or something, man. It was like a bunch of older dudes and o- older Asian men. Right. And they're just not giving a fuck. That's why I don't really care for going to, like, uh, Planet Fitness. I ain't never seen no, like, I don't want to see it. But, like, LA Fitness, they don't give two fucks about me and butt-ass naked. <laughs> Zero fucks. Give them. Yeah. Seriously. Speaking of that, right, so we just going flying all over the place here. But who was it, um... This is like a little off topic, but Channing Tate, I'm Channing Tatum, Channing Crowder. Oh, he's that shit he said about um, if we can have a conversation. if we can have a conversation, both holding our dicks like and looking each other in the eyes. <laughs> the shit was you ain't hear this shit. I didn't. I heard that. Right. And Tyreek Hill said he he's like, oh, I do this all the time. That's wild. They he literally said he want he wants to be able to talk to someone and be comfortable. Grabbing your dick and staring at each other in your in, in your eyes. I can talk to you with clothes on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. It's like, all right. Grab your dick and your balls <laughs> and rub them in circular motion. That's just yeah. Uh, listen, I, I was. I'm not grabbing my hand and looking no man's eye. I'm gonna grab my hand and look at that. The thing about thing. it is, he's serious though. He's not only like uh, it's not like it's a joke. He's what? being. I would very, like to talk to him personally. If want want to know like. What's your thought process? He, like, it's more to it. It is like, con- why do we need to vibe in that way? We're grabbing each other's privates. He did add context. I don't no, remember. No, no, what I it mean, was. we're grabbing our own like, privates. Not grabbing anything. each other's privates. No, I mean, no, 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 not that. You're grabbing your own. <laughs> but looking at you, can you imagine? I'm grabbing my no, shit no, right no, now. I, no, I'm, don't, yeah, don't, it's don't, weird, right? I couldn't. It's, it's weird. Me now. It's weird. I don't want you but to it's look weird. at me. Put both your hands on the table. Right, right now. Right now. Like, what cloth is he cut from? He di- he is different. He, I know. Like if you watch um, any of I Am Athlete when he was there, or even the pivot, you can see that he has a different way that he lives his, his life, and his wife is okay with it. So you know what I'm saying? Like that's he he's comfortable in the skin, and that's cool. If, I'm just that's not me. If I said, "Yo, man, listen, next conversation we have, like we're gonna be going to secrets, right?" And we, you know, we'll, we'll have him on like uh, swim trunks and a tire. Why don't we meet up in the bathroom and have a whole stare off with our, our, our hands on our jump? Like, why? Why would I want to do yeah, that? I don't know if he like planning out these moments. I think he's just saying like, if you in the about, bathroom, it's, it's, it's locker room talk, man. Right, right. Just like, hey, whatever. Locker room. Right, locker room. I think you know that's a, that's the funny thing because I think a locker yeah. room shit. A lot of people aren't ready for like, like being an athlete. I think comes with pressures that the average person doesn't have an idea about. Because these niggas walk around butt ass naked, and no you know problem. what I mean. Some niggas is coming up short. Some niggas is hung like the. You know what I'm saying. So it's like that insecurity that you may feel that that probably plays a part in a lot of these niggas' minds. So I, I don't know. Like I, I think that's a that's another like and it's they, a insider <laughs> thing that you know thought, what I'm saying. Man, high school CTA. man, nigga, like, yeah, it ain't that. Y- y- you had all only thing you had. Listen. High school locker room, you least was in your fucking drawers, dog. Right, but least. you know, as it as you, you ain't go no further than that. These bigger pro college and shit like that. Yeah, dude. you wasn't no. Yeah, listen, I've been in, I've been in like high school locker rooms. I ain't never been in 
Well, except aside from like Temple, obviously. Temple, yeah, them, you know, they, but they did. They like because we, we had. That's where we learned how to swim. Well, me, me, I, that's where I learned how to swim at. Um, going to Temple, I think it's can swim. That's what we learned. They taught you that. Well, man. honestly, I knew I swim before that. Right, I, he did. Shout out to my uncle Richard and my pop, and I got swimming. And my brother, I, I learned how to swim from a lot of different guys in my family. To be honest, <laughs> you sound crazy, but. Yeah, we did. That's how they turned. They taught you how to swim there. Now, if you were advanced, they would like push you on like twenty feet yeah. and tell you to like, you know, go swim and shit. But I never got no. That no remember that high ass fucking the diving, diving board? board. Yeah. Somebody died though. In there? I think they did when they oh, when they go do a somersault. They hit the head on the shit. Oh, for real? Yeah, while we was there? Like on? I don't think just, while we was there, but I think I, I, I heard I heard, I heard I heard a story about that. Oh, Rick Spitz. No, I, I, I hate you, but yeah, I, I heard somebody actually died off the dock. I didn't know that they hit their head on like the because it was two the, of the them. The platform part, the pool side. Because yeah, well, no, the diving because it was so a diving was pool. Then we, it was a pool side. So you know that high. Yeah, I remember. So yeah, you know how they do that something, something like damn, they just missed their head. I think somebody actually hit their fucking. Head. Oh, as they was in McGonagall f- Hall, yeah, coming off of it. Yeah, bing. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That's how you end that. Bing. Hopefully, but no, like I'm, I, but I, like just to get back to that though, like the, honestly, that was a great program for Philadelphia, man, because it was people from all over. We met so many fucking people, and it was like, fun. Yeah, from all over. Like I saw, I learned how to play golf. I saw, I learned how to play volleyball, badminton, tennis, yeah. all of that shit. Remember you know what I'm saying? In gymnastics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got stuck with all them damn women. Yo, yeah, bad thing though. I'm not gonna lie, yo. You know, at the end of the year, they used to have like a program and oh, shit. You used to do the shit. This nigga came out. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? <laughs> and we had to put. A, we had the whole a whole show. We had to fuck. Do you yeah, remember yeah. the routine? It was. Did I? It was some shit like it that. Ain't my fault. Did I do that? We had a whole little like right in McGonagall Hall, so everybody's watching you while you do this shit. This motherfucker come out. <laughs> It's a lot funnier when you do it. I'm <laughs> like, he's taking the tears even now. Because, like, when we found out that he had to do it, it was like, oh, shit, this is going to be funny. I can't wait for this shit. It was, like, maybe 13 girls and, like, four dudes. Yeah, yeah, it was it was, definitely... it was different sports programs. And I yeah. got stuck in it. was No, it was dance gymnastics. That's dance what it was. Dance gymnastics, yeah. Because yeah. everybody, you got, like, put in different zones. Like, every year was, like, different because... I think the first year we was there. Matter of fact, remember the last year it was like soccer. That was with the ball. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. yeah. Whatever the fuck his name was, this motherfucker, man. Oh man, shit was bad. Yeah, that was great times. Okay. Remember Spocky was. What there was this party? nigga name, dog? The one that kept getting our faces. Ian with an I, not an E. That's what he used to say. Yeah, this nigga used to get our because he like we you know we fucking around and he be getting it. Nigga, this in with an eye, not an E. You be like, man, you don't get the fuck out of my face, nigga. Like, <laughs> Remember the old head with the deep voice? The he one that used like to... like militant. The one that used to hold the camp, like in the middle of the uh, the gym? Yeah, he was like the coordinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget his name, though. Dude, he he was in hair connection. Like, he was in... He'd go to hair. He used to. Still, Hopefully, uh, he's still alive. But, yeah. During some... Maybe when Sharon moved... To the side of the street where Salon Brings was at. Uh-huh. Oh, he used to go to that, that shop. I can remember because I remember him talking about him being a Mason. Mm. And I was having yeah, a he conversation was real with him. Yeah, I was having a conversation with him. He actually knew my pop, too. Yeah, he was a militant motherfucker. He, he actually knew my pop. I was telling Unique, I said, we used to come in, we used to be late and shit. He'd call us the fuck out, though, because you had to like walk across the gym. Like, if, unless you was on was this side of the gym where you walked in the door at you could just kind of sl- like slide in right if you was on Montgomery at you could slide yeah, right in yeah, yeah, but if you had to walk across he would embarrass the shit out of you and you had to say the creed they had a creed yeah. he'd make you come up there and if you don't know this shit it'd be like you just mumble like oh this month he's drawn but we used to get dropped off. Winston, Tremaine, whoever. Oh, uh, Big Bertha? Yeah, yo, they used to have to drop off. But it's like, we're not the reason why we're late. These motherfuckers just getting up late. Like, oh, man, it's was, was that? Yo. Did, am I remembering this correctly? If you was chewing gum, they made you put that shit on your forehead. Yeah, they did. That was the right place. Yep. <laughs> they did. It I was all kinds of militant shit, yo. And that fool was, oh, that lunch. Oh, we used to go to the cafeteria oh, on, um. What's that, Fitch, like, uh, lunch hall or whatever? Broad and yeah. Diamond, yep. Yeah. What was it called? Was it? I forgot because it was called, but like it was called something though. They was man, listen. 
We used and, to have a good time. There. That was like the freebie for them because it's, it's lunch they had to pay for, but that wasn't it. They gave us the free shit. Like it's free, it's free lunch and it's paid for lunch. They just give us free shit. The free shit was great. Yeah, the free but shit was, was great. It was, it was stations though. You can it go was to like stations, yeah, get, cheese fries, fries, burgers. yeah, all that shit, burgers, pizza. Oh, Remember man. they used to do the bowls. They used to do people dirty though. They used to mix like all kinds of weird milk and cranberry juice to make people drink the shit. And, oh yeah, and and there's hazing people. That a, yeah, is that a drink fit for a king? I guess they ain't spitting it though. I missed it. Oh, they right. I, miss it. Oh. I, got I got it. I heard what you said, oh. but they ain't spitting it. It just was nasty shit though. Like it would be nasty like mom. French fries in it, like just real nasty shit. And they just like make people drinking. I'm like, nah, fuck that. But we, we I'm just saying, like we had good times. Like thinking of sports and like father figure because it was like a lot of like male figures that was like um, camp uh, counselors. The guy who ran it was a male figure. Like you know, what I mean? it was. We had fun, man. Wasn't, we did. Wasn't uh. Boy that was in gymnastics Wasn't he like uh, He was the Sixers, was the Sixers uh, mascot like the, Yeah Yeah he was the Sixers, Sixers mascot like, he's Oh like, the yeah, ball he's, head he's boy, boy. Yeah. Dark skin boy Yep He was I yeah. think mommy and uh, Mommy and Winston knew him I forget his name But I think they uh Oh, damn, what the fuck is this nigga name? Damn, you just made me think. I, it's oh, so many sure, things bro. like wrapped up into that shit, though. That's what I mean. Like, Hip-hop. that was such a great fucking time, man. Like, and it was like a lot of male figures that brought us along. It was females there, too, but you know what I mean? For the most part, it was male figures that had a sense of like pride in what they did. What they did. So, you know, shout out to, you know, Temple Sports Camp. You know what I mean? Back in those that was the best those 90s. Yeah. In the early 2000s, man, we had a good time doing that shit. And like I said, remember we went to Cheney one time to play them. We beat them in volleyball. Yeah, beat them. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think we went to. I want to say it took us to Delaware too, like somewhere in Delaware, but I don't know where. So they did take us Delaware. Yeah, yeah. So I remember that we was doing shit in the summer. Um, but I was like professional volleyball (laughs) player. But last question, last question, right? Um, I don't know who can answer it or, or if you feel comfortable answering it before we get out of here because we we had about fifty minutes now. Oh, let's cut this shit. Yeah, but this cut. is this should be this should be quick. Cut. In in the in the realm of uh you know about the massage shit that we spoke about earlier, if you can recall, what's the worst sexual experience you've ever had? Man. I know it's it's just something that I I told a girl to leave like oh. Oh, yeah, this this isn't working for either one of us, obviously. Like now, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, we'll dip, you know, head on out. How did that? Like how did? Uh, hmm. Let me try to say this the right way. What happened? So yeah. <laughs> she sleep. I assume so. Yeah, let's hope she is. Man, everybody got a pass, man. Stop bitching. <laughs> you got some nerve. <laughs> I got a pass. Everybody ain't got a pass. That's not what I'm talking about. Either way, Yating. Jesus Christ. So <laughs> we in the crib. Uh foreplay. Everything's going cool. So every time like every time I like st- put it in. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Alright. Wow. So foreplay again. Go back to trying to put it in. Ah. Ooh. And then you get a a few pumps in, like, oh, wait, 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 let me adjust. Wait, 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 let me change this. Yowzers. Uh, yeah, we not doing it. I'm not, I'm not. Was you grown it. when this happened? This, this was, like, not recently, but, like, the last few years. Oh. That, that, that shit, that oh, fucked me up. I was, I was pissed. Like, I was looking forward to getting nut that day. <laughs> Maybe she just told it open. Didn't happen. Out. See how that worked out. Uh... By, by that point, I mean she used her mouth, but by that point it was like she can continue. That that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so like why well, can't Osiris over here, don't <laughs> By that point it was like ah, uh, I'm over. It. Yeah, you know what? Like we tried. You can go. I respect That's it. Crazy. That is wild, wild she, wild but, but the thing is, she didn't argue with it. She didn't like do. She was like, all right, like I holler at you. I haven't talked to her since. I mean, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I guess. No reason to call back. <laughs> <laughs> Excommunicado. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit, though. <laughs> uh, I had the same, like, one of my worst experiences, like, sex wise, would probably be, like, 
fucking and throwing up or some shit like that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you threw up? Yeah. Was that good? No. no it was <laughs> like, That's funny. Drinking from drinking too much and like, you going, like, you doing what you're doing and then it's like your, your head is just like going everywhere and you just get sick. I got sick and then. Up he closed his eyes while he's fucking the room starts spinning. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh god. Oh. That's sick. Threw up. You, you sitting me spinning. Passed passed out, woke back up, and you just throw up everywhere. Did it again. And I, I did not, so I'm just like, well, well. Well, I mean. Yeah. It's an experience. That's the only thing I can recall. El Cabby Tone. Oh, here we go. I asked the question. Ah, <laughs> Damn. See how that works. Take a shot Boom. Here we go. I, I, I really try to remember. Uh... Look, I have so many. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, vir- virgin. Uh, I was a virgin. I, uh, I just started having sex with you two years ago. In your former life. Right. The virgin was I, just seven. I, so... Worst I can remember because I never wanted that woman to ever touch me again. What? Are you raped? Wait, wait, yeah, like <laughs> you gotta watch how you word shit, yeah. Like that I, sounds I just, like rape. Definitely does. So, long story short, I was already skeptical about doing it, and when I did it, oh, <laughs> this, this sounds like a bad real. situation. Can you just tell cool. yours, yeah? Yo? <laughs> it was it was like a scene. What? <laughs> that you can imagine of literally kill the bitch, like as far as like blood, like all over the fucking place. What? But so I you... didn't notice this. I didn't notice shit until I turned the lights on. Uh, you be fucking in the dark. Well, it was like a little glimmer of light after dark. But I didn't, and it was like I'm gonna turn she... the lights on, motherfucker. I need to see what's going on. Yeah, like, but when you like, it's just like that shit, like. Why the fuck it feel like you like sweating all over the fucking place and you're having to sweat? Like it was like extremely, extremely like what? tight. Uh. But you sure as you was I'm in the like right you know going through the motions, <laughs> wrong hole, fool. No, 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 no virgin. But like you was I just the back. remember, no, I don't think I made that far. <laughs> Yo. I just like I don't I, th- I, I don't, wait wait I don't think you understand what he's saying. <laughs> like I, I don't even think I don't even think I wanted to do that. <laughs> or did I? I don't remember. Maybe I did, but like oh, I just man. remember just being so turned off mm. when I turned the lights completely on. Mm. Blood was everywhere. Red room. No, oh, so you, that's why you saying kill the. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, it was like that was such a turn off, and that woman would, would continuously want to like. Try to like come back to have a maybe a third or fourth or whatever you want, second, third or fourth drinking, encounter, baby. and I I never knew. Was this? I think I think I remember you telling me. Was this? Was this lady from Waltz? Well, wait a minute, Waltz. <laughs> well, well, oh, wait a minute, man. How old was she? Right. Wasn't it? I thought this. I think you told me this story. She was from Waltz. I think. Yeah, she uh, go to walk, she still get a period. All I'm saying yeah, is, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Well, you done? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. He didn't like that <laughs> dick pulled up. Right. <laughs> no, but wasn't it though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. yeah. Reluctantly, I, re- I remember. I remember because I was so turned off. Bro. I just had to tell somebody like, that shit was just yeah, was, like it was. It was I, like I didn't feel like just just like, all right. It was gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It was like kind of like I was came upon, came on to to do certain actions. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. She she came on to me. She she came on to me. I come to you, you come on. <laughs> and 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 it, and it happened, but like what? You no, know, my room. What? I don't leave the lights what? on. Going there, it might be a TV on or something of that sort. This boy. But I didn't tripping. notice it. That's it. I was like, what the fuck. I don't even know what the fuck she had to say. Like I said, I don't know. But that I, shit was I, like a I, blood. I, that shit was like, kill the bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I remember part. you telling me the story because when you said you met her, you saw um, 
Tiny's your uncle in there because he was he was like a DJ in there. Yeah, he was. That's crazy. Oh, what? I remember the night that I met him. I'll talk about that all. Night. <laughs> I well, remember exactly catch, the night I met him. You can catch that story. About catch that story on Unprivileged Drinkers Plus. No, I ain't gonna talk about on Plus. We are gonna talk about that shit when all electronics is on. Oh, okay. Well, I will tell you. So to close it out, um, I have like a it mine's more like a best worst type of situation. Um I was uh how can I say this? Um uh, I was told to take an e bill. There we go. I'll say Jesus. that. Jesus. So in in doing so, I didn't know how it would impact me or what, what like you know what I mean, she that's what she did. I did what I wasn't familiar with it. But she was like, you know, it's going to feel like fucking like with silk and all this shit. She tried to explain. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I took a half of one. Um, reason why I say it's the worst experience because I was sweating and was like dehydrated like to like the umpteenth power. So I felt like I was in a sauna. Like, it's like they think about being in a sauna, just sitting there and you sweating like that. It was like that times 20 and just sweating. You got to keep like. Drinking water and like pouring water on yourself. Like it was like a jug of water there, which she told me, like, you're gonna need to drink a lot of water, but I didn't I don't think I expected to feel that fucking hot. You know what I'm saying? So it was like and I don't think I ever bust. So it's one of those type of situations where it was like always a miss. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like if I'm not about to get this off on top of being just hot and sweaty and just fucking just like all this water that I'm drinking, it was just like one of the worst experiences I've ever been through. Mm. So that's why that's why I would attribute it to that being like because it wasn't like she was bad. It was just that the situation was like this is not coming out of me here. There's nothing's like it's not working, and I had to keep stopping to drink water. So, um, yeah, that was probably like I would say that's the worst experience that I've ever had. Get upside the head with it. Say no. This boy right here, he's crazy. Uh, well. There, there, that's the episode. That's the episode, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, just sounds like the R word. Man, that's yeah. like a chick upside the face with the shit. He crazy. Here's a shot. Man. I'm, man, uh, because we gonna keep it authentic in this motherfucker. You ain't never smacking. Boy, you sound like uh, YK Osiris over here. Like, ain't let nobody bet. Never mind. Listen, boo. We're about to get out of here. We appreciate your time as usual. Uh, this is the unprivileged drinkers. You know, we appreciate everybody tapping in and fucking with us, man. Like we're growing. We're 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 doing it. We're doing this shit and having a lot of fun, man. We got a lot of people who fuck with us. Um, shout out to Agave, man. This dude really like he supports us through and through. Um, he's one of our biggest fans. Um I wanna give a shout out to Kaz. Kaz is a big supporter of us, um, has appreciate been since day man. one. Um, it's everybody who listens to the show, um, whether it be audio or you watch it on YouTube, uh, Spotify, however you get it, we appreciate it, man. Because, again, we're going to keep this shit going. We're going to do what we do. You can Google us. We come up, man, and, and every platform that you can think of. And we're going to keep it pushing. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see a lot more of us going in, in the future because we're not stopping. We're putting a motherfucking foot down. We, we grinding over here. So. Again, we appreciate y'all time for tuning in. So I'm privileged drinking. Stay tested for the hood. Code on CW Spirits. You can use the code for UM, yeah, UMP5. P5. You can buy merch. We we got everything. Like I said, link all the links is in the bio. We got a uh, a link tree going. Oh, I, I, oh, uh, I, oh, one of one of my home is a six pack of the Land Shark. I gotta make sure she get that. Okay. I make sure. I, I actually went to go today. I, I they didn't have Land Shark at Twenty Third Street, but like yeah, uh, one of my homies that 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 commented definitely dropped it off to you. You don't, you don't remember, you don't remember we, we is commented? It, is that all you? It was like off? I ain't never. Uh, well, when you dropping it off, you you, you sent oh, the little car emojis. Yeah, on Facebook. Oh, so now I gotta do it. Oh well, that's all you're dropping off. Yeah, I'm gonna sanctify a holy man in my life. Oh man, man. I was gonna say before we uh, cut the joint off. We gonna we gonna be taking this shit on the road, right? Indeed. Yeah. Fuck we gonna. Yeah. No, I know we gonna. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am nervous. Cut. We out of here, man. I'm privileged drinking. We, we, we going? Yo, we, we going to where? Felton. 
We getting out of here, yo. Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sit, my man rolling. I'm privileged drinking, baby. Your girls on my niggas call you guys fall in the line they ain't got no plans you can tell them to slide Bang. i'm feast of beast they told you otherwise them suckers lie can't nobody do it like me i'm seasoned like check of fries what's the vibe huh? you know what it is when we come inside this weather feeling good looking nice like the summertime right. let's get together we call it the party of the year you end up missing this you're gonna be sorry you ain't here light skin long hair better than cardi from the red Woo. got me some good game yeah I talk it up in here this the one they say they like it play it back it got them hyper i'm excited never tired just keep it going with fire. Keep it going.